Hey there, beautiful souls. Welcome back to our sanctuary of inspiration and creativity. stillness of this wild sanctuary, I find a quiet courage to face the world. It's a reminder that just like the mountain, we have an innate strength within us. Hey everyone! Hope you're having a great new year. Happy 2024. Glad to see you back for one of these vlogs. <laughs> Today I'm on the hunt for some uh, photographic, photographic work and while doing my work I'm going to try to squeeze in a painting, a plein air painting and uh, hopefully the temperatures went up a little bit today and I'm not going to freeze my butt again. There's something truly magical about being out here. I feel like I'm in the middle of a masterpiece created by nature herself. I'm in one of the most beautiful places in Portugal, at least in my opinion, and it's Vilinho dos Furnas. It's like a sanctuary area for a lot of species, and it's heavily protected, and that's great because, um, you know, it stays wild, it stays beautiful and preserved. And uh, you can't even stop your car on this road because it's so protected. I'm kind of on borrowed time today for work. Let's try to squeeze everything in. I'm heavy geared and prepared. So let's do this. I'm very glad you're with me. Let's get some shit done. As always, nature stands as a stoic mentor, teaching us about resilience and the beauty of embracing constant change. I'm absolutely enchanted by the intricate dance of light and reflection on these roots. And as the sun rises, casting a warm glow over the cold landscape, I can't resist but to capture it all. I gather my tools, I'm reminded of the power of creation. There's something truly magical about bringing a white canvas to life, one brush stroke at a time. I've been changing my methods a bit, as I've grown frustrated over the months with paintings that simply wouldn't work. The colors I'm using will be listed below, and at this point I started to panic a little bit as I couldn't find ivory black anywhere. But I got around it combining all my dark umbers with ultramarine blue. So now, I always start with a very light drawing, prioritizing the composition and its elements, and then slowly building the necessary abstraction that will eventually open to a more realistic quality with the paint. And while brushwork is important, when you're running out of time out there, you want to keep your mind centered in the perspective, the shadow light patterns, and truthfully, your gut feeling on how much you should change and adapt what you see versus what would really work for your painting.
how it was impossible to do precision brush strokes because the wind kept swinging me back and forth and making me miss the mark. It even moved my camera around. In the midst of the chaos that is creating a painting, let us embrace the struggle and keep that joy within our hearts. one of the fastest paintings I've ever done so not a lot of uh, details in rendering this just feels so pristine to be here and I hope you had some of that energy brought into your home my heart to you <laughs> but yes sometimes life throws us curveballs but it's how we respond that truly matters so let's laugh off the little mishaps and keep pushing forward, embracing the unexpected twists and turns of our creative journey. And oops, there goes my painting. Weather one, painting zero, classic. Let's keep exploring new angles, seeking fresh perspectives, because that's where the magic happens. Let's wander the shores of this majestic lake in search of that perfect moment of inspiration. And who knows what wonders we'll discover. We've been having some really, really tough weather, hence I haven't been able to release a video sooner. And it's heartbreaking to witness the effects of nature's fury on the younger trees. It really breaks my heart that they didn't make it through their first years. I wander through this enchanting waterfall, surrounded by the symphony of rushing water and rustling leaves. I'm reminded of the profound connection we share with the natural world. isn't always easy and at this one I confess I started feeling a very eerie presence that made me very uneasy and uncomfortable. Yep, a lot of fishies coming up at the surface. Without foliage which is a mass it's uh, even harder to make this because you have to spend more time doing the branches 
you can't just mess in the foliage, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. When I talk a lot, I'm usually nervous, and although I kept pushing and working, I didn't feel grounded and confident, and this affected my painting in such a way that the initial composition didn't flow. So no matter how much color and detail added, it just simply wasn't working. So I followed my instinct and started a new one, a more imaginative one. I brought in the camera as close as possible so I wouldn't have any distractions and went into hyper-focus mode. So join me as we dwell again, layer by layer, adding the most saturated colors first so I wouldn't lose that aliveness. Then imagining a clear path that would lead the viewer into the painting. And only selecting a few trees instead of the whole dense forest ahead of me. Time was ticking and the pressure to capture those elusive reflections in the water. And that means staying loose and taking risks and final brush strokes, regardless of the outcome. like to leave no trace and if possible um, leave the place better than when I found it. Saying goodbye to this wilderness paradise is never easy. But as we prepare, let's carry the lessons learned. I had a tip that with these two I'll be able to capture some wildlife, some birds. I'm gonna try these birdies and we gotta fill them with water. So beautiful here. So let's fill this little birdie. Okay, one to go. Not sure about these, but you let me know. <laughs> Life in the mountains is like a symphony of simplicity, a celebration of the natural rhythms of the earth. It's a, a little break to, you know, take everything in and hot coffee, of course. So salute. <laughs> and uh, thanks for being here with me. This only gets better and better as the daylight goes down. Attention. Ah. All the moss lovers out there, look at this beauty. <laughs> to 
say hi to my favorite cow in the village. She's a moody changer. Welcome back full circle to the studio. This last month, I think I've become some kind of professional sander because paintings just keep coming and I'm always sending no matter what. Not complaining, but it is a constant now. So here's a little sneak peek into a series of work I'm so excited about. I've always wanted to paint animals and now I think I'm finally finding my voice. Tossi? Yes, obrigada! I invite you to follow me on my social media, Facebook and Instagram to stay up to date with new paintings and inspiration. You can find me under my name, Iliana Lemos Art, tagged below on the video. I also want to thank you because I know you've been waiting for the reveal of last month's painting, the biggest one I've ever created. But as you know, I am so focused on studying color and trying to understand how to create these imaginative realism landscapes. And at this point, I am creating so many paintings. I don't, I don't know where one ends and the other starts anymore. And I'm just focusing and pushing forward to create portfolio. There's also a secret that I do not want to reveal in this video. I'll talk about it in the next video, but it is related with storytelling and books. <laughs> but that's already too much. Thank you for joining me in this adventure today and for sharing the beauty and the wonder of the world around us. Don't forget to like, subscribe and spread the love. Until next time my friends, keep shining bright! <laughs> I got you on camera! Catch you later and I hope you have a wonderful week ahead. Bye!